All right, guys, we're back in seven days to die. Now, this is a map that I created for fun. It's honestly just a test, well, a lot of stuff. As you can see, my storage is, well, I'm not really worried. Now, this may be a little exaggerated, but this is kind of what I want in an underground base. A bunch of space where I can do foraging, cement mixing, workbenches, campfires, and chemistry stations all underground. Again, this is a completely random episode this is not part of the campaign so i've made stuff now idealistically i know this is exaggerated but this is kind of what i want for a base a little entrance so where if any zeeks do come at the front door i can safely shoot them from a distance without getting hit a little hatch on the top so i can go to the roof this is my favorite part of watch by the way so as you can see the truck on the compass up top hang on if i'm on the roof let's say i go downstairs and here's my truck it's a 4x4. It's fully fueled, so I don't really have to worry about fueling it. Open the garage door. And we go out to collect items. The storage on this truck is ridiculous. The downside to having a truck is that it does require a lot of fuel, and you need to scout a lot of areas to get a lot of fuel. So the reason I decided to play this game again, guys, for a little mini-episode is because they came out with an update. If you can see it from the top right, it's 19.6. Meaning they updated it from last time. If you remember, I think I was playing on 19.2. I can't remember. But they made a lot of updates. What kind of updates did they make? Let's find out. Now, while that may look like a big wall of wood, it is actually a drawbridge. I love this game. So you can make bases that have this and make moats around your bases. I don't do that because honestly I don't have enough supplies and materials to do that in an actual campaign. So I created this big empty space with four walls to show you the Zeke's probably animals in this game and the updates I guess if you want to call it that that they've made. As you can see this is zombie Arlene and well she's very um yeah. This is zombie biker. As you can see he's big and has a helmet. This is zombie bow or infected survivor. The health bar shows you how many hit points it takes to kill these guys, but for me, since I have this gun, I just need one hit. This is a burnt zombie. He's in the, I want to say, a destroyed biome, and if he hits you, you catch on fire occasionally. Not all the time, though. This is zombie businessman, and honestly, they upgraded him. Last time, he had a full blue suit. Now, he has an actual black and white suit. He actually looks spiffy. Two, four, six, hey, who do we appreciate? This is the cheerleader zombie. As you can see, she's very, uh... Fragile? No. Skinny. That's the word. This is Zombie Darlene. She was introduced on Alpha 19, I think, the first time they updated into 19. Uh, the only times I hadn't seen her was in Alpha 18. This guy is a demolition SWAT member, if you want to call it that. I think he was introduced Alpha 19, I'm not sure, but as you can see, he's very big and very scary. This is Zombie Farmer. As you can see from his head, it looks like it's just a skull. I don't even think that's skin. And he walks very crazily. And he has cowboy boots. I'm trying to get all this done, but as you can see, there's a lot. This is Fat Cop. He's from the original games, and they've updated him a lot. This guy, he's changed over the years. This is a new update that I've never seen. This is Disturbed Tourist. Interesting. But this update makes him look so much more terrifying. We've seen this zombie before at the hospital, and this is Hungry Zombie. Not to be confused with Female Fat Zombie, which is the title of the zombie. <laughs> oh, Female Fat, my apologies. This guy! So, they incorporated that if a Zeke is a football player, as you can see, and football players are very athletic. What does that mean? Well, if he is a zombie, he doesn't walk. He runs towards you. Touchdown! <laughs> this is Zombie Janitor. Honestly, I can't really remember that much from this guy. I think he was new to the update in Alpha 19, but I can't remember. But, I don't remember this design, so I think he is new for 19.6. Either way, he looks very cool. This guy's name is Festering Cadaver, but his name in the spawn menu was Zombie Joe. This is Zombie Lab. She is a, I want to say lab technician? A nurse? I don't know what she is. But anyways, she she looked like she was very smart in the past life. Uh, Zombie Hazmat, or Hazardous Worker. Uh, he's missing a boot on one leg. And he has an oxygen tank. Sometimes these guys drop loot, but not really. Zombie Marlene is from a long time ago. I think she's one of the originals. But as you can see, they have updated her a lot. 
Zombie Marlene. I just realized she has an eyeball out. That's gross. This guy. I hate this guy, man. Zombie Mo. He's a big fella, but he's strong. He can take you out with like three hits. Oh, he's missing an eye. I just saw that. Hello, nurse. This is plagued nurse. As you can see, she's, well, plagued. This is zombie old timer, but the name says zombie cowboy. I guess that makes sense. I hate this seek. Her name is a screamer zombie and she always makes those types of noises. Skater punk zombie. I like that name. Uh, he's also, I think, an original, but I think he was introduced in Alpha 18. This guy is the lumberjack, frozen lumberjack, whatever you want to call him. They are only in the, I want to say, freezing biome, but I've never seen them in the forest or burnt. They could be from other places, but that's the only places I've seen. Zombie Soldier, I remember him from the hospital. I think they updated his face, but I'm not sure. I can't really see it. Hang on. Oh my god. Oh god, that's terrifying. This guy we also remember from the hospital. He is a spider zombie, and he leaps and crawls on all fours. Zombie Steve, or reanimated corpse. These are, this one's just a generic one, but he still looks creepy and very highly detailed. And this guy, you probably remember from the hospital, his name is Crawler. Ooh, his spine is out. Okay, now this one is why this game is not meant for kids. This one is a stripper zombie. They for damn sure updated this one because last time the stripper zombie was completely naked. Not to say that it was attractive, trust me, it, it's not. This guy's utility worker, honestly, I don't remember him that much, but he looks like he might be new. And also like he's missing some eyelids. Oh god, he's missing his eyelids. This is zombie Yo, or riding carcass. Again, I think another generic one, but as you can see, his face is very detailed. Now, I've saved the best for last, because this Zeke, I swear to God, I'm going to show you all variations of this guy. So there are two different variations of zombie white. There's Feral, which is this guy who's just automatically walking, and then Radiated. He does more damage and also blows up, I think, if he attacks you. Hang on. Hey, buddies. Here they come. <laughs> nice. Hey, buddies. I'm over here. Nope. Nope. So as you can see, these are the uh, zombies that are awkward, let's say, in the game. Anyways, guys, I'm going to mow these guys down and get back to the campaign as fast as possible. I guess as a small little clip bit, you can see the animals that are available in this game. I'm just going to spawn all of them just so you guys can see them. So there are two types of bears, a regular bear and a zombie bear, a little coyote, a boar, a wolf, a chicken who apparently just got killed. I just saw that. Ooh, a snake who just got killed. This big wolf. Ah, man, they killed the deer and the doe. This is a dire wolf? I don't know what that means. I think that just means he's like the alpha of a pack. And as you can see, this mountain lion is just going ham on the doe. And tiny little rabbit is trying to run away. Oh, oh, oh. I spoke too soon. All right, time to kill him. So since there aren't any Zeeks to spawn anymore, that's kind of the end of the episode. I kind of want to leave you guys with this one thing. This is called a loadout tier. You can only get that in the creative menu and by unlocking the dev blocks that only developers can get. Loadout tier one. And it shows you all the like general stuff that you can get in the beginning of the game. Plant fiber shirt, plant fiber hood, plant fiber pants. It shows you everything. So you see in loadout tier one, let's load out there. So you saw loadout tier one, let's check out loadout tier two. Whoa, mama. You get guns, ammunition, knuckle wraps, cool. Loadout tier 3, you see we get a lot more ammo, a baseball bat, iron sledgehammer. Damn, you get some really good stuff. Ooh, mining helmet. Loadout tier 4, iron armor for your whole body. A lot of level 6s, I must say. Ooh, auto shotgun. Whoa, I've never seen that before. And finally, loadout tier 5. Ooh, steel. Whoa, that's an upgrade. And what looks like full ammo for, ooh, 2. Full ammo for all weapons. <laughs> that's dope. Like I said, guys, there's a lot in this game to see, unlock, whatever you want to call it. But to get through everything would be almost impossible. So for now, guys, I'm going to quit, get back to the main campaign. Well, The Walking Dead first. And then I'm going to go back to the campaign probably after all that. Or in the middle of all that. And I don't know. We'll see how things go. So, guys, till next time, I'm going to go inside. Hopefully, I can create or find more stuff in this game to try to add to the campaign or look for in the campaign. But for now, I'm going to quit. Get back to The Walking Dead slash the campaign for the seven days to die. Anyways, guys, as always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell to get notified when I do drop a next seven days to die episode or The Walking Dead episode, depending on what I'm doing. Until next time, guys. Hasta luego. And renegade for life. Pinche hacker.